Mr. Speaker, there's a lot of hand-waving and lofty language from the Liberal leader today, but as two honourable former Liberals in that corner know, this Prime Minister is not always as advertised. His hand-picked Liberal ambassador to China resigned three months ago. Canadian citizens are paying the price for his inaction. Our exporters are play, paying the price for his inaction and incompetence. When will he nominate a new ambassador to China to turn around this crisis? Right, Honourable Prime Minister. Once again, the Conservatives are all over the place in what they think they want on the world stage. On the one hand, we got to withdraw money uh, from Asian infra infrastructure banks uh, that are doing good work across, uh, across, the, uh, across the continent. On the other hand, they want us to be reaching out and be friendlier with China. On the other hand, they want us to draw in uh, international support. On the other hand, they want us to push back harder. They don't know what they're doing, Mr. Speaker. On this side of the House, we are focused on standing up for Canadians, on standing up for farmers, and resolving this international difference.